Hey guys, I'm going to show you a mixing tutorial on the CA2A and how I used it in this song. Just to get you familiar with the song, I'm going to play it just for a few bars so you kind of understand what we're dealing with here. There's vocals, piano, bass, drums, guitar, pedal steel, just about everything you'd hear in a standard country track. That coffee brew in the way. Let's look at the controls. On the left, we have a ratio switch that switches the CA2A from compressing to limiting. To the right of that, we have an R37 dial. When this dial is turned all the way down, it doesn't really do anything to the signal. And all the way up, what it does is it attenuates frequencies in the sibilant range, kind of like a de -esser. That's why it's mostly used for vocals. This is the peak reduction knob. This adjusts threshold and gain reduction simultaneously. So the more you turn it up, the more gain reduction you get. So the more you crush your signal. After that, the makeup gain. This allows you to increase the volume of the signal once it's passed through the CA2A. It's pretty useful when you've used too much peak reduction on your incoming signal. Then we have a switch that switches between the different metering options inside the CA2A. And lastly, our meter. This shows you gain reduction, volume levels, whatever you set your metering to. This also comes as a pro channel module and is what we'll be featuring a lot in this video series. It has all the same controls and it also has the photocell memory setting right here so you can switch between fast reset, which is for fast release times, and then a classic mode, which is slow release times. We'll be looking at both of those in this video series.